thanks for watching my video today we are going to discuss this summation of a series with the help of definite integral how can we sum up the series using our integral okay? here we are going to discuss and in the previous I have solved one question also from this and in definite integral as limit of sum here that and that from that we are going to start in that we know that integral from a to b f of x dx is nothing but limit n tends to no h tends to zero uh, h f of a plus f of a plus h plus and so on so on plus f of a plus and minus 1 h okay this we get so if you put in term of summation this will be r equal to 0 to and minus 1 f of a plus r h right where and h is equal to b minus a this we get here now just we substitute that a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 that means if you put here this will be 1 that mean h will give h will be n over 1 by n and when h tends to 0 that mean h tends to 0 and tends to infinity okay from here we get now our series this become integral from 0 to 1 because a is 0 and b is 1 f of x dx which is limit and tends to infinity 1 over n sum from r equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of <coughs> now here since a is what a is where is a a is 0 this is 0 plus r and h is nothing but 1 by n they mean r by n okay this implies that replace limit n tends to infinity and summation from r equal to 0 to n minus 1 by our integral symbol and 1 over n by dx and r by n by just x okay then you get the series and if you expand it then you get the uh, some sum of that series okay